Hello guys, I am Shahzad from ShakesZ.com and uh, today is we are going to discuss about the OGS which is the Open General Systems. How can you install the Open General Systems in your cPanel or in your website. So first of all Open General System is the open source software for the management of peer reviewed academic journals. You can also view the doc uh, documentation of, um, of the OGS on official website. And uh, also you need some informations from the Wikipedia you can also view the information or anything related with open journals here just Google I'm going to download the OJS software the latest OJS software from the official website so OJS so this is the official website of the OJS it's a pkp.sfu.ca okay just click on this now as you can see this is the official website of the OJS you can click on the download link to download the latest version so here they are saying the legal information you can also review this you can I, they are saying the contact us and also they are saying the OJS so this 3.x is the latest version of the OJS family so the system requirement they are saying the system required PHP 7.0 and the later version of the 7.0 of the PHP and also the MySQL version 4.1 or the greater there greater their version of the 4.1 or the MySQL or MariaDB okay now as you can see the current version of the OGS is 3.1.2 dash 1 while I am recording this lecture this is the current version so click on the link to download the software or the setup whenever I say software or whenever I say setup that means I'm talking about the same thing. This is not for the desktop application. Okay, now I have just downloaded the setup. So as you can see, I have this setup. Okay, now I have already other setups, but this is the latest setup. I'm going to upload this setup on my cPanel. So as you can see, this is the cPanel and this is the domain it's a shakezy.com okay make sure if you have not subscribed our channel yet you have uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the subscriber button and also share our process and videos if you are thinking we are doing good okay now what you need just need to click on the file manager so this is the c panel uh, if you are not familiar with c panel uh, we have the course of the c panel at shakezy.com so this is our official website you can learn the cpanel from our website so this is the cpanel course okay i consider that you have the basic knowledge of cpanel if you are installing the ojs setup okay now click on the public underscore html directory okay i have already uploaded but i'm going to delete this one so you can easily understand how can you just click on the upload and now drag your setup and drop here so you can also drag your setup this 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 all are the same things because 3.1.2 dash is the latest version so this is a zip file okay just drag and drop here so wait for a few seconds it's the 24 MB files okay now we have successfully installed just click on the link so it's here just extract this software okay you have successfully extracted now click on the folder select all files move these files at the root of your cpanel which is the public underscore html now go back and delete this folder okay before now click on the access your link as you can see it's now currently showing the OJS installation setup now what you need just need the MySQL database and also the username click on the C panel to create your MySQL username and also the database click on the MySQL databases so create OJS the database you have successfully created now you need a user so create a user create a new user okay from here o j s okay now the password is o 
जे एस डबल नाइन डबल एट डबल सेवन डबल सिक्स एंड डबल डॉलर वन सेकेंड ओ जे एस डबल नाइन डबल एट डबल सेवन डबल सिक्स एंड डबल डॉलर ओ जे एस डबल नाइन डबल एट डबल सेवन डबल सिक्स एंड डबल डॉलर क्रिएट अ यूजर ने आओ असाइन द डेटा बेस टू अर्टिकुलर यूजर सो दिस इज द ओ जे एस ओके ने आओ क्लिक ऑन द वी हैव ओनली वन यूजर ओनली वन यूजर एड योर यूजर टू योर database all privileges assign all privileges to your user now check out the 7.0.0 or the php version how can you check the php version installed in your website go to the file manager and also click on the public directory find your index.php file and now edit this php file here i'm saying echo php info now by the below script save the file go to the ogs click on this reload it's saying 500 internal error okay because it's a php info now as you can see you have the php 7.1.27 is the current version and also the you can also check the mysql version here now revert this or the comment these two lines save the changes now open the refresh the page now you know very well about the php version now so upgrade if you are upgrading the ogs just click on this so these are the recommendation or the requirements and also they are saying supported databases you can also use these databases they are saying pre installation setup the following files and directories and their contents must be made re writeable or writeable so this is the config.eng.php it's optional find the public folder so this is the public folder this is the public folder right click change permissions select these it's a 777 permissions now okay it's saying cache also is writable cache p cache cache tmy so open the cache right click on the cache folder permissions 777 open the folder this is t cache t compile and db so t db cache and compile you need to assign the permissions it's 7777 and also the this one and also this bad boy okay now you are ready to go what we need you just need to add, assign a uh, administrator username and password and also you need the check the selector uh, sorry character set and also you need to create a particular file which is the re write table or write table okay now come back here as you can see i have the user which is the shakzi it's s h a k z double e okay now i am saying the password is shakzi double nine double eight double seven double six and double dollar okay the password is shakzi Double nine, double eight, double seven, double six, and double dollar. And the email is shakzi one seven one at gmail dot com. The primary language is the English. You can also check other languages. Additional, look as select additional languages if you are saying that uh, it's available in the Swami or Urdu or Hindi, Farsi, Arabic, something like that. So Unicode, UTF eight. You can also select Western ISO. It's totally depend upon you. Here, as you can see, it's saying you need to create a particular directory. So go to the public underscore HTML. Here, as you can see, you have to create a file name files. So create a folder. Sorry, not file. It's a folder. Folder. Create this folder in your public 
underscore HTML directory. So as you can see, this is the public folder and it's also the right table. So change the permissions. Okay, so you have assigned the permission, which is 07777. You are ready to go. Now here, as you can see, it's available in the public underscore HTML directory. So this is the home shakesy and also public underscore HTML directory and this, this is the folder you have created. The currently file size is 5.12 MB. If you are increasing or decreasing this file, you have to check your php.ionf file. Okay, now you need to create, you need to select the MySQL I. If you are working on MySQL, so let divine body. If you are working on MySQL I, check MySQL I. Also, database is available here. If you have a database driver or DBC, you can also select. I'm saying I have a database driver, driver which is the MySQL I. So here, this is a local host and also the local host. We have created a database and also the username. So you need to add the database username and password and also the database. So click on the MySQL database. So this is the database I have created and also this is the database name. So username, database name, sorry. So this is the username and this is the database name. And the username and the password is the same. Double nine, double eight, double seven, double six and double dollar. So this is the password I forgot the password the password we have okay I'm just changing the password from here I'm saying this is the password this is the password okay I forgot the password so don't worry about it okay now you have a password and also you have a database name uncheck this because you are not going to create the database you have already created the database fine now same install the open journal system now you are ready to go to install the system now click on the install open journal since so ins installing okay it's, in it's saying uh, database it's giving you the database error check out if you forgot something so it will give you the database error so as you can see this is the username and this is the database name so username and the database name so this is the database name okay and this is the username sorry it's my fault now everything is fine click on the installation to install the setup so again saying The database is not accepting okay fine this is the database OJS double nine double eight double seven double six and double dollar so once again try this okay now I'm saying I'm going to update this password so this is the password I'm writing here. So this is the password. Password, password. Change. I have changed the password. Now, once again, check out everything is working. Okay, fine. Now click on this. Okay, you have successfully installed the OJS software in your website. So now, uh, how can you access? Just access your website, shakesy.com. So as you can, oh sorry, it's shakesy.com. So as you can see, this is the Open Journal Systems. And now, if you want to log in, just click on this, or you can just click on this to log in your account. So I have a login user. We have created the administrator account. Password is shakesy double nine double eight double seven double six and double dollar. So login. Now, as you can see, you have successfully logged in with your administration account. So this is your administration account and you can also configure something here. You can also check your system information or you can also check something, some other information here. You can also edit the information or the update 
so as you can see it's saying check updates so it's totally depend upon you how you are working and what is your requirement so we have successfully installed the OGS soft or OGS setup or the software or the system in your cPanel or in your website so I think this is enough for today so guys if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos if you have not subscribed our channel so don't forget to click on the subscribe button so thank you for watching